Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to talk to you guys all about Warcraft Reforged. What has changed if you are a revisiting player from Warcraft 3? Uh, what this means to you if you don't own Reforged and what this means to you if you do own Reforged. So I'm going to open up, pop up a custom game. Now this is specifically for the custom games. I do not really play the campaign or ladder. So I want to just emphasize that this all has to do with custom games. So first off, the number one thing is there is no more classic Warcraft. It's gone. You only have Reforged. If you didn't purchase Reforged, you play Reforged with classic graphics. So even if you have Re Warcraft 3 on your computer right now, you will have to do like a 30, bay 30 gig update to basically reinstall and set up Reforged. So uh, once you have everything set up, this is what your game is going to look like. So I'm going to go through the custom games and I'm gonna go ahead and create a game. Now, in the near future, in the next couple of days, I'm gonna be working on a map folder. I'm calling it a map pack, which is going to introduce maps that work for Reforged. So about 90% of maps that we used to have, so meaning the hundreds of thousands of games we had, are all broken now because of this forced merge. So there is cross-play compatibility with Reforged and Classic, meaning you can play together, but with that merge came a lot of bugs, a lot of issues for custom games specifically and nobody can really give you an ETA on when things are fixed because one of two things has to happen. Either A, Blizzard has to fix what they did, which they are never going to do, or B, the individual map, ma map makers themselves have to figure out what was it, like fucked up with it and then fix it. So we're going to be just playing basic maps at the start until things are fixed. Now, one thing that is nice is in the future, the map editor has been expanded, so we will see some really cool custom maps, but you got to give it some time, right? So this is my folder that I've got now, and I'm going to be creating it into subfolders for you guys to make it super, super simple. But for now, we're just going to talk about a little bit more stuff. So let's pop open a tower defense, something very nice and simple, and these all work. I've tested them, so winter mall. So to host a custom game, all you got to do is just basically create the game. Uh, if your game doesn't create, chances are someone already has the game name. So Winter Mall Pox, I'm just going to make it. Create. There we go. And then people can join. Now, one other thing to note about Reforge is Reforge is region locked. For people who don't know what region lock me is, that means that when you start up your battle.net, you cannot play with people on the other regions. Uh, previous Warcraft 3 was not region locked, so that kind of sucks. Uh, everyone has to be on the same place to play together. However, just like I said before, you can play cross compatibility, meaning someone who doesn't own Reforged can still play with you. So that's kind of neat, but you know. So let's go ahead and hit that start button there. Now, uh, I want to show you guys something else. I know I just talked about the folders, so while we're in loading, I'm going to explain to you what I mean by the folders. In your Warcraft 3, you're going to have a tab called Maps, and then from that Maps, you're going to have only a download folder. You won't have anything else. So I'm going to be uploading my folder later, which will contain all the stuff for you. But this is going to be for the future. So this game just started. I'm going to type dash S. We're going to do insane difficulty, 50 lives, share creeps on, and all random double race. So that just drafted everybody. Let me go ahead and swap over to game capture now. Okay. So I've got Troll and Beam. Beam is pretty good. Um, let's do a dash repick here, though. Uh, we can make this work. Zoom 2250. Okay. So this is a pretty standard game. It's very basic. Uh, essentially, you can see there are uh, a bunch of lanes here. Everyone controls units in their own... They're not controls, but you're defending against the units. So the mobs start here. Their goal is to run here. Uh, if I leak, it goes to blue. If blue leak, it goes to teal, etc. It is 20 units for everybody. So it's a combined total of, I think, 180. Right away. Okay. Of course. Get a maze set up here. Two, three. One, two, one, two. I think that's right. Yeah. That's like weird to see on Reforge, right? Yeah, that's right. One, two, three. Job done. Okay, so I want to talk about some other problems that are currently inhabiting Reforged and some things that you should know as a general consumer. So the first thing to note is that most maps in Reforged run at very, very, very terrible performance. As an example, I'm in a map that literally has nothing but snow and I'm running at 60 FPS before units spawn 
and before towers are attacking. Now, yes, a lot of these maps, in fact, almost all of them, are not designed for Reforged. They're designed for Warcraft 3 Classic. So when you take these maps and you put them in the in Reforged settings, they're not going to be optimized. But I've played maps already. I know some developers who are creating maps on a blank slate specifically for Reforged, and there's, there's nothing they can do. The games are just not optimized. You are never going to get that crystal clear 144 even you know i know fps doesn't matter past 144 really past 100 but you know to an extent you're it's just not really very good right now even the campaign i'm running like 60 frames per second in the campaign and i'm running on a 1080 ti you know i've got a very decent computer um so this is something that hopefully blizzard will be able to change in the near future Another thing is, <clears throat> Blizzard is cracking down on their strictness of custom games. We don't know how serious and how much they're going to enforce it, but they basically want to claim all rights of all maps that ever come out and ever exist. Um, a lot of people have their own reasons as to why they're doing this, but the only thing I really want to want to bring up is that by them doing this, they are discouraging other people from creating really fun custom maps like the ones you guys have played in the past, like, you know, Werewolf or Warcraft Mall or Pokemon Mall and stuff like that. They're also supposedly cracking down more on the copywriting of you know, basically just like there's a game called Video Game RPG, which has a bunch of video game characters in it. But I don't even think you're allowed to stream that stuff right now because of copyright assets. And yet yeah, some people like, of course, you can play it. But now in the editor, it says you're not supposed to. So like a lot of people are scared. They don't want their Battle.net account banned. I don't want my stream taken down as an example. And we're basically everyone is kind of waiting until Blizzard releases an actual official statement because right now everyone's just going off of the terms of service. But the problem is, is that with Blizzard's track record, they have done some really petty and really shady things. So people are taking this and, you know, it, it's it's just getting blown out of proportion. But it's not really our fault because Blizzard has not released any official statements on anything, right? They're just, everyone is kind of just in the blind right now. Anyway, I want to talk a little bit more about the map since we got most of the bad stuff out of the way. Let's, let's focus more on the good side of things. So I want to talk more about, I want to talk more about this map pack that... I wanted to set up for you guys. So as you guys heard, uh, heard me say that most of the maps are pretty much broken. I want to explain what that means in the broken state. So say you play an RPG. For people who don't know, Warcraft 3 is home to very, very popular RPGs. Uh, RPGs work in a really simple manner. You play the game, you type dash save. When you type dash save, it will pop up in a custom map data, your save code, right? So your save code, let's use an example. Uh, let's Daemonic Sword. Pox. You can see I have two characters, Dark Lord and General, right? So I click Dark Lord and I have a text document. In this text document, I take the code, I load the game, and I just log in and click copy paste. I'll wait for this to switch over. And that would be the character loaded. None of those codes of any games you've ever played in the past work anymore. And the reason why? The reason why is everyone's name, regardless if you bought Reforged or Classic, has been updated to your battle tag. So all of your account information is saved under your name. Nobody has the same name anymore. Unless in 2003, when you played this, you realized your name was going to be, you know, Panda hashtag 21177. There's no way. So all custom map data you had before is pretty much deleted. And that's okay. That one, you know, that's just life, right? I'm not going to blame them for that. It kind of sucks still that they merged classic onto that. That part doesn't really make any sense to me. But, you know, that's just part of how it is. So, uh, the goal of this map pack is to take the basic maps that, you know, we're still trying to find out and just create a foundation for people to play. Because I know a lot of people bought Reforged to relive their old memories of, you know, playing these custom games. A lot of people want more than just the campaign. Some people just want the campaign and there's nothing wrong with that. So what I'm, what I'm doing, and if you guys have any maps that you know work, feel free to link them down below or message me on Twitch or drop a note in my Discord. Uh, I'm going through and I'm specifically looking for the maps that are working and I'm trying to create a couple of different maps. So let me just pop this up again. So this is the 2020 survived reforged. And then when you open this, it will just have a simple 
bookmark drop down of maybe like six different genres. I don't want to make it very complicated. Now, all you have to do when I get this up and running in the future is you will simply just take my folder, like literally this, copy it, find your location, drop it in, and then it'll be done. So as an example, because I'm just going to leave this because the video is pretty much over. Um, you would basically just go from here. Create, and then 2020 survived reforged, and then you would have all your maps located right in here, and then you could just host them for you and your buddies to play. And I know for people who are asking, well, what exactly is the difference between classic and reforged? Because I was talking about it. To be more specific, 100%, the only difference between classic and reforged is this slider right here. That's it. There's nothing else different. Your UI, like all of this stuff is the same. Like all of what you're looking at right now is the new standard for Warcraft 3. There is nothing else. So if I click this little knob and switch it, then things, you know, basically you're just looking in classic graphics when you're playing the game. But the problem is that even though you're looking in classic graphics, because they merged Reforged and Classic, the classic graphics are still not the exact same. So there is still crashing and mass desyncing and errors and a bunch of other stuff that are happening throughout the games. You may play a game for 10 minutes and realize, oh, this game looks perfectly fine. And then all of a sudden 17 people from the game disconnect and crash critical error. That is basically what I'm talking about. A lot of people don't realize this yet, but like most of us have already tested these maps back in the day. And this is something you're just gonna have to redo all over again. Anyway, um, hopefully, you know, this is not meant to be a negative video. I'm, I, I don't want to attack Blizzard or anything. That, that's not the goal of any of this. I just want to inform people who don't really understand what's happening because, like I said, Blizzard has not released an official statement on anything. And I want to have fun with my buddies and I just want to play custom games and enjoy the good old days of 2003, even though it's 2020 and we've went... We're basically playing custom games in 1970 right now, but you know, that's totally fine. We're going to, we're going to persevere as people and we're going to make it through and we're going to find the most fantastic custom games ever created. Uh, anyway, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. And for my ARPG buddies who are curious, I will be checking out Wilson, I think, next week. It's launching real soon. So don't worry, there'll be some more content for you as well. Take care. Have a wonderful time. I'll see you guys all tomorrow.